हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई ऑनलाइन लेक्चर सेशन ऑफ सब्जेक्ट कॉम्प्यूटर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड आर्किटेक्चर टूडेज टॉपिक इज लॉजिक माइक्रो ऑपरेशन इट इज ए पार्ट ऑफ यूनिट वन विच इज रजिस्टर ट्रांसफर एंड माइक्रो ऑपरेशन ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस वीडियो लेक्चर इज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज लॉजिक माइक्रो ऑपरेशन एंड various logic micro operations uh, there are total 16 micro operations then hardware implementation of logic micro op operations for uh, one stage circuit then various application of logic micro operations now start our session with logic micro operations logic micro operation specify binary operations which are to be carry out on to the content of registers in this operation each bit of register is considered separately logic operations are implemented in alu basically there are four main logic micro operations which are and or not and exclusive or for example Uh, exclusive or micro operation with the content of two register R1 and R2, or uh, and the R1 XOR R2 and the result is stored in R1 register. Now let us say the example of uh, R1 which contains the data of 1010, and second register R2 contains the data of 1100. Now XOR operation is performed on content of R1 and R2. so according to the truth table of x or operation we give we, uh, we get 0 0 then output 0 then 1 0 it uh, becomes 1 0 1 becomes 1 and 1 we 1 1 then it uh, gives output 0 now this is the content of r1 which is stored after the exclusive or micro operation when p equal to 1 now list of logic micro operations there are total 16 logic micro operations first is clear operation which set 0 in all the bits of register second is transfer operation transfer a then next we have transfer b operation then and micro operation a and b next is or micro operation a or b then nand micro operation which is written as a and b whole dash then nor micro operation a or b whole dash then exclusive or micro operation a x or b then exclusive nor micro operation which is written as a x or b whole dash now next to micro operation is complement of a which is written as a dash then complement of b b dash next is a and b dash then a dash and b then a dash or b then a or b dash and the last micro operation is set to 1 means set all bits to 1 now next is hardware implementation of logic micro operations now here we explain the one stage of logic circuit for that take one micro uh, multiplexer which is 4 by 1 now for that we require two selection line s1 and s0 now at the zeroth input of multiplexer we attach and gate and and gate require two input bits bits ai and bi now next is or the output of or gate is attached to the input of one then next is exclusive or the 
output of exclusive OR gate is attached to the second input of multiplexer and then NOT gate is attached to the third input. Now attach all the connect all the lines. Now based on the selection line the multiplexer perform the operation and the result is displayed on the output line EI. Now the truth table function table of uh, one stage of logic circuit which is whenever S1 equal to 0 and S0 equal to 0 then the multiplexer perform end operation A and B. When S1 equal to 0 and S0 equal to 1 then it performs OR operation. So A or B. When S1 equal to 1 and S0 equal to 0 then it performs XOR operation. It gives A XOR B. And when both in selection inputs are 1, S1 equal to 1 and S0 equal to 1, then we get complement of register A. This so, this circuit so how logic circuit is implemented. Over here only one stage is defined. But if you have n bits, then n stage of circuit are required. Now, let us discuss the application of logical micro operation. The first application is selective set. In selective set micro operation, it is set to 1 bits in register A, where there are corresponding ones in register B. That means it changes the bits of register A and set to 1 when there are ones in register B. For example, register A contains 1010 and register B contains 1110. Now, here the first bit of register B contains 0. So, there is no change in the bits of register A. But next, there is a 1 in register B. So, the corresponding bits of register A will be set to 1, but here 1 is already there, so there is no change. Next, in third bit, the 1 is in register B. So, change the bit of register A to 1. So, there is a change and uh, it store 1 instead of 0. Now, in next, there is a 1 in register B. So, again it is set to 1, but uh, 1 is already there. So, there is no change in register A. Now, this is a content of register A after selective set operation. So, selective set uh, micro operation use or micro operation to achieve the result. Now, second application is selective complement. So, in selective complement uh, application, complement bits in register A where there are corresponding ones in register B. For example, here register A contains 1010 and register B contains 1110. So, in a selective complement, when there are ones one bit in register B, then it change uh, the register A's data in complement bit. So, start uh, first LSB of register B, which is 0. So, there is no change in register A. So, the result is 0. Then after, there is a 1 bit in register B. So, it complements the bit corresponding bit in register A. So, change 1 to 0. Now, next bit, bit is again 1. So, it changed the register A's bit. So, it becomes 1. And then after, again there is a 1 bit in register B. So, again change the bit 1 to 0. Now, this is my output after a selective complement operation.
selective complement micro operation achieve using the exclusive or micro operation now next application is selective clear clear means zero this uh, application clear to zero bits of register a where there are corresponding ones in b now let us see the example again register a contains the data 1010 register b contains 1110 now in selective clear here register b contains 0 in lsb position so there is no change in the first bit of register a so it is 0 now second bit is 1 so it will change the bits in register a and it becomes 0 now again there is a one bit in register b so again set to 0 but here already zero bit is there so output is same zero now next in next case here register b contains one bit so that set to zero in register a so my register becomes triple four times zero this is the data of register a after selective clear operation so for that uh, it use a and b dash to achieve the selective clear micro operation now next micro operation is mask operation mask operation is sele uh, similar to selective clear but the bits of register a are cleared means it set to zero only where there are corresponding zeros in so whenever b contains zero bit then it set to zero in register a data let us see the example register a contains 1011 register b contains 1110 so here first see the first bit means lsb bit of register b which is zero so it uh, change the related data corresponding data of register a means this one it set to zero so here zero now next is one so there is no change in the data in the bits of register a so it contains one again here one is there so zero as it is next one so one as it is this is my content of register a the mask operation is an end micro operation means this result is achieved by use by uh, using the end micro operation now next is clear operation clear operation compares the words the bits in register a and b and if two numbers are equal then it produce zeros now example register a contains 1010 register b contains 1010 now here it compares the both bit of register a and b it puts zero if both bits are equal so here first lsb bits of register a and b both are equal so it uh, put zero again next bit both are same then again put zero then again next two, two bits are zero means same so it puts zero next again four bits are same so again put zero so this is the content of my register a clear operation is achieved by performing the xor micro operation now next application is insert operation insert operation insert a new value into a group of bits it is achieved by first masking the bits and then ordering them with the required value means insert operation is achieved in two steps first masking and second is or 
or operation. Now let us see the example. Here, my register A contains data 0, 1, 1, 0. 1, 0, 1, 0. Total 8 bits data. Now, now I want to change these bits to other bits. Means uh, it replaces 0, 1, 1, 0 is replaced by 1, double, 0, 1. Means I insert uh, some bits instead of this 0, 1, 1, 0. For that, I use insert operation. So, first of all, I perform the masking with uh, register B which contains here 4 times 0 and 1, 1, 1, 1. So, masking operation will give the result 0, 1, 0, 1 means my uh, register A's bits which is not changed is uh, remain same then after here I perform mask with 0 bits uh, with register A's data so here all the bits are 0 because uh, masking performed masking set all 0 when there is a 0 in register B so this all gives the data like this 0 0 0 0 and 1 0 1 0. Now this is my result after masking. Now my first step is completed. After that I perform OR operation. So and then insert a new value. So for that I consider this new result means after masking which is stored in register A then Register B contains 1, double zero, 1. This is my new bits which is inserted in register A's data. So, I perform OR operation with this new bits 1, double zero, 1, then 0, 0, 0. Means these, in, these bits are inserted in register A's. So, perform OR operation. So, it gives 0, 1, 0, 1, then 1. 0, 0, 1. So, after uh, insert operation, this uh, 0, 1, 1, 0 bits are replaced by my new bits 1, double, 0, 1. So, such way, insert operation insert a new value into a group of bits. It is a AND micro operation and insert operation is OR, is OR micro operation. I hope you enjoyed this video lecture session. Thank you.